Now, the SNP in Plaid Cymru have made it very clear they believe they've been treated unfairly by the broadcaster by being excluded from the Prime Ministerial debates. Today, the BBC's trustees rejected an appeal by the Nationalists against the way they've been treated. The SNP described that decision as a democratic disgrace. The party's defence spokesman, Angus Robertson, is at Westminster now. Well, uh, Angus Robertson, as you watch that debate, one issue in which you do have a pretty distinctive position from any of that is Trident, isn't it? Well, on that and also in Afghanistan, but you're, you're, you're right. Starting with Trident, of course, it's now becoming uh, clear that the position between all of the three London parties is almost indistinguishable. Uh, we have both Labour and the Conservatives saying that they're prepared to spend £100 billion on a new generation of Trident nuclear missiles. You have had the Lib Dems trying to create the impression that they're against weapons of mass destruction, but now emerges they just want something different. Uh, they won't tell us how much that costs, but it will be the best part of £100 billion. Pounds. Now, of course, the SNP's position is different. We share the same point of view as the majority of people in Scotland, our churches, the Scottish Trade Union Congress, and the SNP Scottish Government, and that is that we don't want weapons of mass destruction in our country. We certainly don't want to spend £100 billion pounds on it, and on this issue, uh, on this day, in this debate, uh, the SNP voice should have been heard in the debate, and that's why it was wrong uh, for Sky, ITV, okay, and the BBC to exclude the SNP from these debates. No. Look, if we had the next parliament, and, and it's becoming, of course, less clear by the day what that would look like, but let's say Trident did become an issue which was genuinely being voted on, I presume that for reasons of your views on, on economic recovery, if not for your views on the morality of nuclear weapons, you would find the Liberal Democrat position on Trident more attractive than that of the other two parties. Uh, what the, they, they still want weapons of mass destruction? No, no but the argument less, that at the very less. least you don't make any decisions on this for the moment and therefore don't commit to spending money on it. No, we voted before that we don't want a replacement to Trident, and that's still our position, and I believe that's still the, the position of most people in Scotland. We, we don't need them, we don't want them, uh, and that's why it's a shame that there's no difference between the London parties uh, on that particular issue. Now, in what sense is your position on Afghanistan distinctive? Well, I think what we need is a degree of honesty about the quagmire that we now find ourselves in because uh, although uh, supportive of the reasons going into Afghanistan, it was a, a UN-backed mission, it was uh, after 9-11, uh, we all understand the reasons why uh, and the sense for doing it, but of course we were waylaid into the illegal and immoral war in Iraq uh, and that has meant that we've now been in Afghanistan longer than the entire Second World War and here is the real rub because to succeed in Afghanistan, uh, our, uh, uh, our mission is to ensure that the Afghan government is able to deal with security on its own. But the only problem with that is that the government we're supporting is one established on electoral fraud, a, a, a government marred in graft and corruption, and the illegal drugs trade. And I, I really think that we need a, a, a higher degree of honesty when discussing the future prospects of Afghanistan, that we are in fact supporting a regime that is in many senses illegitimate. And I don't think uh, that is a reason why our young men and women should be dying with such regularity in Afghanistan. So what we need is a review, an urgent review, to look at all of the options and that should include withdrawal, given that President Obama has been able to say that he is going to start withdrawing troops from next summer. I don't know why it's impossible for the three London parties uh, to say the same thing. We need a review, we need to look at all the options, including withdrawal, and only the SNP is saying that in this election campaign. Right, well, well the Liberal Democrats are, are, are also saying they want a review. I mean, I'm still a little unclear. Are you saying that you want a review but your preferred option as a party, would be to get out. Well, Gordon, you, you, you characterise the Lib Dems in a way that I certainly didn't hear that in the debate this evening. I, I watched it closely, uh, and I didn't see that much uh, of a difference between the three London parties. We all pay credit to the service uh, men and women who are out there. We're, our thoughts are with the service families back home. Uh, but polls are saying that 77% of people across the UK believe that we sh should be starting to talk about the circumstances in which we withdraw troops from Afghanistan. That was not even touched on in the debate. Okay. And the debate is so, supposed to inform voters about uh, the options before them. None of the London parties were talking in those terms. All right, Angus Robertson, Luke, thanks very much indeed.